Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm going to show another experiment with magnet and aluminium tube. In this case, it's aluminium follow. You can see aluminium is not attracted to the magnet and there is nothing inside the tube. So I'll put the magnet inside the tube and let it go down. So you see, if I put it next to it, it's fall rapidly. But if I put it again next to it, it falls rapidly. But if I put it inside, it's fall down slower. It's not attractive. Yeah, see, no magnetic, but still when it's slow inside and when it's outside, it's fall rapidly. Not the inside. And I broke the magnet, one of the magnets. So I use a pillow not to broke it again. Okay, so here is the explanation. Okay, so here is the explanation of the demonstration that I show you. So, if you have two magnets and you put one inside and one outside and drop them at the same moment, this one will fall down faster than this one. Because if you have a conducting tube, there will be so-called eddy currents or lens currents that are induced and they slow down the magnets. The reason why is because if you have a magnet that is falling down due to the gravity, it's it changed the magnetic field that this point here fuels, and changing the magnetic fields means induction of currents. And the current is in such a way that it's tried to compensate the change of the magnetic fields. So in this way, if it's fall down, the current will be in this way, and it will push the magnetic field of the other of this falling down magnet, and it will slow down the magnet. Let me show the presentation. See, this one falls down faster, this one falls down slower due to the induction of these currents, eddy currents or lens currents, that they create a magnetic field that try to compensate the change of the magnetic field of at this point, and it's pushing up, and here on the other end, it's create the current in the opposite direction, and it's tried to pull up the magnet, so it is fall down. As a result, the magnet is fall down. Thank you for the attention.